It's time we sorted a few things out, and I'm going to show you how I did it in this episode of Design Talk, so let's jump into it. Welcome to this episode of Design Talk by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I'm going to show you how I solved my sorting problem. So one of the things that uh, I'm doing is building a new shop. Well, the physical shop is already built. I'm building out the inside. And one of the things is I wanted it to be like the cool kid shop with all, with all the bolt bins are matching. So I went to Harbor Freight, picked up a whole bunch of these bolt bins, uh, do a bit of an overlay. However, one of the things with those bolt bends is they have larger trays like this and especially if you're working with smaller bolts or fewer bolts like over here that tray is really a waste so I wanted to come up with a solution that I could effectively divide up this tray both into to doubles as you see over here and even fours over here I could probably even go up to, to six four seems to be pretty good how did I do it? Well, I turned to Fusion 360 and I designed up this guy. So actually I designed up this with four and then one over here with two. And then what happens is it just sits in here and actually becomes a pressure fit. You just press it down in here and then it locks right in. Now, one of the things, the, um, these trays are angled at the sides here. So I had to, um, you know, measure that. And, and actually, I didn't do it from the angle. I actually did it from the measurements itself. This will sit in here a little bit more. And uh, made it so both sides actually match this. Because what I didn't want, especially for my smaller parts like my M2s and M3s, I didn't want them to be able to slide through and get mixed up. And so this solves the problem. The other piece is I want it to be able to close into the top and also seal it from the top. So these, when I pick the case up, they don't all get messed up and so I whip this up so I did two versions I'll put these out on Thingiverse so if you go to Harbor Freight and you pick up one of these you know you can uh, uh, use it for you know dividing up your bolts super handy so I bought you know like a dozen of these I'm gonna probably buy a dozen another dozen I bought them all out from my Harbor Freight store here so I'm gonna go to another Harbor Freight store and get some more so they're all matching now the other thing is this uh, yellow PLA came out really nice. I mean, this looks like it's a stock piece of this. So, so far, I've been pretty happy with this. So I figured I'd share this concept. Again, rather easy. Taking this design, making it work, solving a real-world problem with it. And uh, I think it's pretty cool. And also saved me a lot of money because if you think about it, you know, the number of additional cases I'd have to buy. So I get a 4 to 1 ratio here and a 2 to 1 ratio here. So anyways, hopefully this inspired you to go out and design something, to apply 3D printing to something productive. And if it did, hey, give me a big thumbs up, support the channel. Swag Shop's going to be up in the corner, subscribe button over there. And again, I have links to these on Thingiverse down below, uh, as well as the Fusion 360 file. Cheers and see you in the next video where we design something else cool. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all